it's Melissa Chatain here from Chatain Style Studio, and today we're talking about closet basics. Every time I'm working with a new client, I go to their closet and they never seem to know what the essentials that they need. So I came up with my top 15 essentials that you should have at your closet at all times that you can mix and match in style. Number one, everyone loves the comfort of a basic tee. And for me, I love a staple of a gray tee. Gray tee is versatile. It's not black like a greaser, it's not white like a biker girl, whatever. I love a gray tee and you can mix it and match with everything. Number two, the crop jean. Yes, I prefer a boyfriend jean, which is a little bit more versatile than your skinny jean, but I like these crop jeans from Genetic Denim and um, they roll up at the ankle, you can wear them with sandals, you can wear them with heels. When we're talking about basics, number three is kind of a no-brainer. Everyone needs a good button-down shirt. I love the brand Equipment, it's a French company, and they have the most luxurious silk shirts that look great on everyone. Number four is embracing your bohemian side and rocking a few kimonos. I'm all about these, they go well with everything. I toss it on a dress, white pants, if I'm wearing um, jean shorts, I love kimonos. You know, try to switch it up rather than going to a blazer, try a kimono. I mean, it works for everything, like I said. Like, dressed up, dressed down, to the beach, with your swimsuit, it's just a great go-to piece to have. Now, although I said that you can sometimes skip the blazer, you still need a blazer. And so that's why number five, I picked a white blazer. Everyone likes go-to black, but I think black is boring. White switches it up, it's a bright color, it's fun, and there's no longer that rule that you can't wear white after Labor Day. I mean, I mix it and match it with everything. So I like this the way this one falls. It's from Zara. It was about 150 bucks, and it's just beautiful. Number six. I choose an oversized clutch. This one is from Gwen Stefani's Lamb Collection. It's one of the her first from her first collection of lamb, and it's this great bag that fits everything that you need for a night out, and it works great in the workplace. It also fits your uh, iPad, and you're ready to go. So, you know, instead of opting for something so big, I think an oversized clutch is the way to go, and this is why it's one of my closet essentials. Number seven is all about the bling and accessories. What time is it? <laughs> Menswear watch inspired time, that's what it is. I love this big chunky watch, Michael Kors Rose Gold. It's been a trend for quite some time, but it's a really great closet basic. Some people have it in gold or such, but a just an oversized men's watch is one of those pieces that you should have. Number eight. Now, I will say it once and I'll say it again, grab a pair of animal print pumps. They're an essential. Now granted, I love my red flats, I love my black patent heels, but the animal print gives your style an extra punch and it's so versatile to wear during the day to work and up your after game look. Number nine, I'm bringing to you twice. Yes, two LBDs for you that you must have in your closet. One, the classic little black dress, and the other, the little bright dress to add a pop of color and a statement. So grab your LBDs. Number 10, your classic pencil skirt. I love this black one, but I love it because it has a little bit of leather detail, and it really makes it sexy and fun for the workplace. Pair it, dress it down, pair it with a gray tee, dress it up, pair it with a, the white button down. It looks great, and your snakeskin pumps. Only a few more to go, and I'm at number 11 with ankle boots. Yes, you need a flat pair for the day. I like these ones, they're kind of rugged. They look good with everything, like summer dresses and shorts, um, and they're just a really good flat boot. But if you wanna spice it up a bit, I like these little ankle booties that are a little bit nicer. They offer some comfort because they have a wedge heel, and these are just two closet essentials that you need, a good brown boot, a good black boot, you're good to go. If you haven't already known that the onesie is here to stay. I love this great onesie. It's a fun, powerful print. Um, this onesie is from Forever 21 and I toss it with a fringe vest and it's an instant outfit. That's why I love it, instant outfits. This one is a little bit more sexy. It's, it has a really cute open back from Dolce Vita, but it's another one of my favorites. So it's two different looks, one for a hot day, one for fall, but these are two essentials that you must get. Lucky number 13 might get you lucky as well. I love denim shorts. Now some people may say past the age of 30 that they're no longer acceptable, but 
they're here to stay and it all depends on how you wear it. The key to wearing denim shorts is not to wear something a crop top, denim shorts and high heels, but it's to work on length. So if you're wearing shorts, then wear something longer on top, maybe with a kimono or a blazer and a flat boot. But it's all the way that you style it, that's how it determines how sexy it is. Number 14 is your essential trench coat. Burberry made it famous and it is one of those pieces that you must have. Wonder why? Because it's great for the workplace, it's great for casual, it's just one of those pieces that grows great with everything in your closet. And especially in the springtime and those versatile months, it's something great to have in your car to toss on when it's a little bit chilly and it's beautiful. Elegant trench coat is always a win, win. Number 15 is something that's close to my heart and classic and works well all the time. And I mean a oversized chunky sweater. Works great at home, works great when you're running errands, it looks great with your t-shirt and jeans and crop shorts. It's just one of those pieces that you can always have um, versatile for the fall or spring if you don't wanna wear a heavy jacket, especially in a place like LA, it's not always needed. But I love this fun print uh, by Joa, just one of my favorite pieces. It's just something I have. I have a ton of them in different colors. Did you like my video? Prove it by clicking like below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're at it. And for more fashion and lifestyle tips or to learn more about my styling services, be sure to visit me at cstylestudio.com. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Chitainstyle.